Frank Harris of the Mount Washington Avalanche Center. I'm up here near the top of Wright Gully. Um, Pat and I just um, climbed up diagonal in Huntington and walked across the Alpine to check out surface conditions. Um, we're thinking about the warming that's going to happen this week. Probably is going to draw some folks out to ski. And I just want you to see closely what you're going to be thinking about. Um, we've got a widespread ice cross. You can hear that, but this is this is where the rain fell directly on some old snow. It is breakable when you're booting in most areas, 95% of the areas, but it's not breakable on skis. And Patrick is a very good skier, and I asked him whether he would try to ski that if I gave him a large sum of money over there in diagonal, and, and he said no. So that tells you something. This stuff is not going to soften um, really quickly. You're gonna you're gonna need a little bit of time for that sun and heat to penetrate this ice crust. When it does you'll be able to access that loose snow beneath and at that point it could start getting sloppy later in the week possibly. The other surface you want to think about is this pencil hard wind slab, wind board. We found it to be unreactive today. Um, you can get it to crack, but just underfoot. Um, we don't really have significant concerns in terms of a, a wet slab forming as it warms, but I would think about wet loose sloughs growing conceivably kind of large or, or big enough to push you somewhere um, when that stuff gets warm because it sits on this ice crust. It's quite variable, you know, so this will be a good time to uh, pay close attention to the sun, sun on the slope, and have a plan for backing off if it doesn't soften. Um, it's also important to remember right now, you can see looking down Lobster Claw that we've got like just enough snow to bring these runs into good skiing condition, but there's lots of obstacles showing still. We only have a meter of snow at Hermit Lake, and um, this time last year we had more like three meters of snow at Hermit Lake. Um, about two and a half. So anyway, it's lean conditions with lots of obstacles to hit. So just be, be really aware of your runouts. That's it. Be sure to check the forecast. Um, you're likely to see a similar danger rating, but uh, do read it all and look closely at the weather. Thanks.